The two approaches used in scenario 3-2D are RNAi and CRISPR. We are studying the effects of gene A. The first approach that we are using is RNAi. This process involves two molecules, which are miRNA and siRNA. miRNA is transcribed from a distinct gene in the cell. The double-stranded RNA interacts with Dicer to produce an miRNA that is about 21 nucleotides long. It then binds with other proteins to form RISC, which stands for RNA-induced silencing complex. Once the complex is formed, it will then target the mRNA by complementary base pairing, and in the case of miRNA, it will sit on mRNA and inhibit translation. miRNA can also degrade the mRNA. siRNA originates from mRNA produced in the cell or from a virus. It is similar to miRNA in that it interacts with Dicer and forms risk. Once the complex is formed and the target mRNA has been found, the mRNA will be cut and degraded. CRISPR is the second approach used in this scenario. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Palindromic Repeats. In this case, the target is DNA and not mRNA. RNA interacts with the Cas protein and forms the effector complex. The complex will then target DNA with a complementary sequence. Once the target DNA sequence has been found, the DNA will then be cut and degraded. So the question is, what approach would I use? I would use the CRISPR method. This approach seems more precise than RNAi, and you can edit genes by replacing the bad gene with the correct gene.